if you think about the number of PC gamers in the world who would like to get into PC gaming, or there are people that, that um, they have a thin and light notebook, but they would like to enjoy some PC gaming every now and then, and just haven't, haven't dedicated themselves to build a new GeForce PC. Um, the number of those, those PC users is shockingly high. There are two billion PC users in the world. We estimate some billion users with integrated graphics or Macs or um, older PCs or thin and light notebooks that would love to be able to enjoy games but simply don't have the capability to do so. And in fact, there's really no real way of installing a new GeForce graphics card into those computers. And, um, and maybe they're, they're rather intimidated by um, opening up their computer in the first place and, and building something new. And we thought that wouldn't it be amazing, wouldn't it be amazing if we were to put a GeForce gaming PC, a state-of-the-art GeForce gaming PC powered by Pascal in the cloud like AWS, build a supercomputer like AWS does for enterprises, we would do this for consumers. And as a result, these supercomputers in the cloud could be shared by millions of gamers around the world. They could try video games for the very first time. If they don't play, play frequently, they could launch a game whenever they want, wherever they want. And if they could just enjoy state-of-the-art video games like this with just the click of a button, wouldn't that be utterly amazing? So after many years of endeavor, this is just one of those incredibly hard problems. And it's incredibly hard because the computational capability necessary for video games is so high. And the interactivity is so, requirements so high that any little bit of latency would ruin the experience. And so after just so much refinement, so much re-architecture, so much engineering, the team has finally done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're announcing today GeForce Now for PCs. <laughs> GeForce Now. It turns any of your PCs with the download of a little tiny client into essentially your most powerful gaming PC. And it's all in the cloud, just one click away. Why don't we take a look at it? OK, so what you're looking at here Two computers in the back. One is based on PC, one is Mac. The thing that you instantly recognize on the PC side is all of the major stores and hubs are now available and they work perfectly. Steam with 150 million users works perfectly. Origin from Electronic Arts works perfectly. Uplay from Ubisoft works perfectly. Multiplayer works perfectly. All of your st stored states, your checkpoints, all of your friends, all work perfectly. Every single game works exactly as it should. All of the software has been updated. And Dave, are you in the back? Yeah, hi Jensen. Hey, hey Dave, happy new year first of all. Hey, happy new year to you. Um, so so uh, why don't we do this, why don't we launch Steam? Steam is the single most popular video PC gaming store in the world. And here David's launching Steam on GeForce Now. Okay, there you are. And there you are, just a few seconds, and you're into Steam, and all of the games that you've purchased or all of the games that you brought into Steam are all there. It also works on a Mac. So why don't we go over to the Mac. It's just one of the apps on Mac. Double click on that. There it is, Steam on Mac. And you could buy a game right there. You could buy a game right there. We won't do so right now, but we could buy a game. And usually when these video games are so large, they're so large because they have so much content and it takes hours and hours to download it. But in the case of GeForce Now, it only takes about a minute. And so why don't we go ahead and launch uh, a game. Now that it's installed, let's launch it. And this game doesn't run on a Mac. And this game runs very poorly on integrated graphics, but yet, we're going to see it working here in its full fidelity. 
And one of the things that's really cool is that it just works exactly the way you would expect an app to work on a computer. It's completely seamless to you. You pretty much forget that it's even in the cloud. And video games are complicated in the sense that the game is always being patched, there's always digital download content, the drivers the need to be enhanced all the time, and we can do that all behind your back, update it all the time, keep your computer always fresh. And there it is. Tomb Raider, running on GeForce Now, we just need to keep over to cloud, a click away, video games for the other billion PC users. Okay, thank you. So GeForce Now will be available in March for the early users. It's coming very, very soon. We're putting the final touches in there. And it'll be available for $25 for 20 hours of play. It's basically a GeForce Gaming PC on demand. GeForce Gaming PC on demand. There will be several grades of performance that are available to you. The higher performance grades, you'll have fewer hours for every $25 of credits. Okay, so GeForce Now. Incredible value for somebody who doesn't have the ability to access a gaming PC somebody who hasn't taken the effort to build a gaming PC, or who's somebody who just plays infrequently but would love to be able to enjoy a video game from, from time to time. GeForce Now. Thank you.